Holy sh**, Master Yi's slapping people over walls. Holy sh**, Master Yi's whacking. New W. What's the W? W mana cost change grants tenacity. Cooldown reduced to 28 seconds to nine. So he can now, wait, so he can now block, uh, almost like block stuns. Why, why does Master Yi need this? What the f- Demacia. <laughs> what the f Justice! <laughs> <laughs> Why are they buffing this guy? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are they buffing this guy? Oh my god. Master G's Q on PB allows him to choose an exit. <laughs> Why? This is so weird. He's gonna actually be legit strong. This guy's gonna be viable in lanes, man. Well, like, that's like W change, Q change, auto attack range means he can farm. Dude, he's gonna be like good in in lane. He's gonna actually be good in lane. Do you understand? Guess where we're going next? We're going to the jungle. Pack your bags. What do you guys think of my big five? If you guys can't figure out the first one, you guys suck at my fucking content. Like you guys have literally not been watching my content. Like if you legitimately do not spam the dude's name in the fucking chat, I'm gonna raid. You have not been paying attention. You guys, are, you guys are seriously choking. I see a bunch of nocturnes. That makes me happy. Nocturnes, the king of uh, easy jungling. Reminder: made masters this season with my fucking ridiculous schedule with a very easy A B C clear pattern. Just solid decision making and just the easiest execution of combos ever. If you have any sort of like mechanical. Uh, ability at all. Nocturne should do very, very well for you. Do not see why he wouldn't. I'm gonna just put him right here. This is an ugly ass image of him, but I, I guess there's just not good ones. Let's just tip him like this. This is Nocturne. This is Nocturne like he's about to try to cuddle you or something, I guess. I don't know. It's it's a hideous. I'll, I'll put him like this. He's flying in. He's flying in to steal your LP. I, I mean, honestly though, like if you haven't, if you're a jungler and you've not picked up Nocturne, you are fucking up. Like, you are legitimately fucking up. If you're struggling in jungle and you can't climb with your main, just pick up Nocturne for the love of God. 80% win rate, uh, or I'm sorry, like 70% win rate to master as a 33-year-old coach. I, after durability patch came out, I was still winning with him. So, yes, absolutely Nocturne is the king. Um, let me look at the list here. You guys are saying some, some questionable ones. Um, I think if you ask my opinion of junglers after doing the the coaching with Charismai and experiencing it myself and verifying that I wasn't out of my mind, I think Kane is broken. And if you can't climb with Kane, there's something wrong with you. Like there's actually something wrong with your brain. Like your brain is not working. I'm sorry. It is what it is. It's not a personal attack. I just think you're a dumb person and, and I don't like you. But no, Kane is actually like really easy um, to climb with. He's not very balanced. He's just got too much going on in his kit. And yeah, results kind of speak for himself. <clears throat> Next up, what do we got? If I had to recommend an easy jungler, I see somebody has said it. And that is, he's back with a vengeance. The sleeper hidden OP pick Mordekaiser. I'm telling you, this guy is just a power clear and press R on people, champ. Like, really, it doesn't get much easier than this guy. He's still very good. Um, and he's not played because he's off meta. And I think that's like the only reason he's technically off meta. Now, people keep recommending Hecarim. That's funny because I don't really recommend him at the moment. Um, even though I like him. He's taking a nosedive right now. Um, and, and I just don't, I don't think he's very good. I think that uh, it's not a very reliable, uh, reliable play style at all uh, at the moment. Now, this is where it gets tricky for me even because now I have to start thinking about what would I recommend to absolute newbies to play? Um, and I don't think the list is actually that easy. There's a lot of good options. So I think I'm just gonna pick what I'm feeling based on what I've experienced in the meta so far. Um, I think I'm going to have to go with this guy again. He goes pretty ape in the jungle. And I think I have to put him here too because 
he's just really good right now uh, in general, and I think it would be a very disingenuous list to put him in top lane, but not in jungle. I think it would just be a bullshit list at that point because he's just that good. Um, and he's good for newbies as well. And this is again where it gets a little difficult because I have options and I have I have two different options. I can give you a pick that is uh, reliable. It's a little team reliant. Or I can give you a pick that carries harder um, with like the same styles as a lot of these champions. But I think because I have like power farmers already in here, I think I'm just going to go with this pick, which I am promoting... I am promoting Volibear, I think, finally. I think I'm finally giving this hideously designed, awful looking, stupid champion with his fucking. Bleh, look at this fucking auto attack. Let's see, he, he, he autos like he has a fucking pine cone in his ass. But he's good. He's really good in the jungle right now. He. Even though. Even though. He. Autos goofy. I still think he's good. I still think he's very strong at the moment. And, but I also think he's different from the rest of the list. And, and, and you know, because like Wukong and Volibear, they're not, they're not just power farmers necessarily. They can do, well, Wukong doesn't really power farm in my opinion. But Volibear can power farm or he could just gank like crazy. Um, I think you have flexibility and I think the win rate speaks for itself. Uh, and I think if I had to make a jungle list, it would probably look something like this in the durability patch right now, which... This is why we do these from time to time because my list has changed. You know, I, I think I think this is a fair list right now. I think all this makes sense. And I think if you take any of these champions and master them, you're probably going to get ranked, especially Nocturne. Like, he's still good. He's been good forever. I still play him incredibly good. So <clears throat> now I don't think Graves is that easy. No, I think Graves requires too much kiting. Now we're going to go support and ADC. So I think we should start with support because ADC is just, you know, people like to talk about ADC more than support and we got to give our support some love out there. Let me see if Ray's online. Fuck it. I'll put you in the call. What's up, man? Hey. All right. It's actually it's like, yeah, it's like just, just like chilling. And then I feel like, okay, well, what is Nice doing? And I saw that you're doing that. The, um, the <laughs> I was like, oh shit, has he done support yet? Uh, that's awesome. No, that's perfect. So you actually did a climb recently in support um, oh. and you've been you've been playing it. So I would be curious to know, though, uh, if you were to and this is normally how I frame this question when I ask support players about climbing on the roll. If you were to just like, let's say I had I paid you right now, boost me. OK, you boost me, right. but you can only play supports. What would be your five that you would think? Like your top five, just like I'm gonna smurf on the lobby supports. And you could be as you could be as um wide of like you know, a support, like they don't have to be supports necessarily. And I'll just chime in if I think what you're saying is goofy as hell. But I imagine that we're not gonna be too far off in our opinions. Okay. I mean, for me personally, I don't think you would be surprised to say that my number one would probably be Thresh, just because I've like ran it so many times that like okay. you just don't lose on top, up into the diamond if you know what you're doing. But is it I too hard though? It. Is it too hard yeah, though for yeah, newbies? Yeah, like for like newbies, I was about to say that I think it's not. I think you need to have like way too much like understanding of how the game works and what you need to do, where you need to walk. Like there's just too much, too much thing. For, for so for like a newbie, I would not. Like tell him to play Thresh. I have always said ever since like season five that Thresh is another champion that you should play if you're looking to climb. Okay. Unless you're like all real life really, really good. Um, but if I was to go from like low elo, let's say to like gold, I think the AP supports would definitely be up there. Okay. Uh, Brand Zerath would be in num my number one, number two probably. Uh, Sarah's way not too far behind. Okay, um, so we'll put I we'll we'll plug a brand in there. Yep. Let me, let me, like, hold on, let me vet this list a little bit. Do we really want to recommend newbies play Brand, Zareth? <sighs> the thing is... The problem is it feels I'm, like newbies when they play them... Yeah, they don't put pressure, I know. And they miss all of their stuff. The thing is that um, if you play Enchanters and Engagers, they, they pro both have the same problem where you're just like trying to get your team to do something. Yeah. But then if, if you're trying to like get them ahead, like it doesn't matter if the, if you have like a 10-0 vein out of lane, if that's the only one who who you uh, who's getting fed. 
The guy is just gonna like tumble in, flash into like five people, give out 1k to like Jax and the game is over. This yeah, is actually the hardest, this is the hardest list because like all of it seems like it, it any of it can be, be very trappy, right? Like if we say to people, go Zareth, well now you've got a, a noob, right? No offense, but like a lot of newbies that play support are playing support because it's the easier role. Like obviously yep. in your case, like you've played Thresh, so you've played the harder champion to master. So I'm not singling you out when I say this. It's more of just like, there's so many noobs in the role that like any one champion could be a trap. So I uh, think so if, I think, if you, what would you put, you where would you put Zyra? And your mages. Probably. Uh, top five uh, for the mages. Um, for newbies, I think Zyra is. Oh, it's actually pretty hard. I, I guess well, like, like newbies, my gut is saying Zyra. My my gut is saying Zyra would be like the newbie mage champ. Yeah, I think sh I think she's the easiest. Okay, I think we can. For like yeah. newbies, I think Zyra is probably the best one. Because Brand just like gets them killed all the time and hooked all the time. Zyra Zyra has the plants. Zyra has the damage. So even if she inted, she still has like that Brand level damage, right? Yeah, even if you get hit by like some kind of CC, as long as you get your like ults away or like full damage away, then you're probably gonna kill somebody anyway. Yeah, I think I'd put Zyra up. I think I would put her on this list to start. Yeah. All right, so we got Zyra in here as like your, your, uh, you know, your mage. I, I am kind of with you. I know that if I'm smurfing and I'm playing support, I probably would go for like a Zareth a lot. Um, because I just feel like. If you have the mechanical ability to bully like the weaker support, Zeref just feels amazing. I yep. think we you have to, the, the and it, yeah. you tell me if I'm an idiot, I think we have to put Senna on this. Yeah, I would say so. Even I, though Senna, um, the problem with Senna with low elo is that your AP has to be like so much higher than most supports. Mm -hmm. Like uh, engage supports, AP, AP supports, you, you can get away with like, I don't know, like 100 APM or something. On uh, on Senna, you basically have to like maybe not double it, but you have to be like clicking so much. So you would you would argue like, you movies. would argue this is probably the highest skill, but like, like Senna is still good. Yeah, she's sure. broken like, right Senna, now. Senna, yeah, like Senna is like top five supports in the game, maybe like top three. Senna is like really good right now. So, but I'm just saying that because uh, I've seen quite a few Senna's in my times, uh, and the low lows. Like, it's kind of the same problem as like AP support is that they don't know how to apply the pressure that you can with the champion. Yeah, no, but, that makes uh, sense. But yeah, I, I still think that Senna is an okay pick here. Yeah, I would probably put it into like top five. I wouldn't mind it. So let's think here. We've got three more slots. I think we need, I mean, engagers aren't even that good in this meta. That's the thing is. Yeah, right now they're <laughs> really not. Blitzcrank is like the one that can maybe like work. Like I can, I can plug, I can plug Blitz in here and feel good. Yeah, because Blitz is kind of like, like the coin flipper. Like you either hit your hooks and you're useful, or you don't, and then you're worthless. But I like, I like, like Blitz though. Hooks, yeah, I, I, I like this one. Yeah, I think, I think of all the engaged supports, I think he's the yeah, one that it still kind of works. Yeah. yeah, I would say that also. All right. Um. So now we're left with three. This is the hardest list of all. Because there's nothing that's like screaming out that's just like, yes. Yeah, it used to be Leona until like durability bash. Like I always told people play Leona if you're like Loyola. Like you just press uh, press E when you're gonna hit E, press W and just like one shot somebody. All right, I'm gonna give you, you I'm gonna die. give you two, I'm gonna give you one here. Janna. J yeah, okay. All right, then that means it goes on the list because that's what I was thinking. I would put Janna yep. on this list 100%. Yep, for sure. Jana was the first champion that I made. I got to diamond with it, and yeah, like Jana is just really strong right now. Probably the best support in the game, I would say. Especially so, like oh, okay, so Jana we should probably good. move. We should probably move Zyra over to the to the right. Then we should put Jana at the top. I think Jana probably is top for newbies. Uh, I would say so, as long as you just keep your distance. Because the thing about Jana, the the good thing about Jana is that you can kind of like look around the team fight and look around the map because you don't actually like do that much like you're you don't have to be focused on your champion so you can actually like have a look at how the game actually works at least that's how i uh, for the first time that's how i learned the <laughs> that's game. kind of funny way to put it yeah because like you don't have to be so intensive in your champion itself so you can actually like learn how the game works instead no that makes sense so and then the last one there's some debate here I'm gonna ask. Okay, I'm gonna make a suggestion, and you tell me if it's dumb as hell. 
from your perspective, okay. okay? I have I have two, maybe three champions in white. I really like Maokai for newbies, and I've been recommending it to support clients for a long time. Do you think that's Not dumb? Not what I had in mind, but I can see it working actually. Yeah, like it's really simple. You just know your ins and outs, and you're tanky, pretty forgiving, some uh, some decent sustain. Yeah. The vision, okay, okay. The, uh, the thing that I always liked is it forced them to like stop being uh, like reactive where it's like, and they can obviously have like the saplings, they could have the, the W to, to hard engage if they want. They have the big R. It just feels like he's very functional, but just a lot, a lot of people don't play him because I don't know, he's just not very popular or something. But I've recommended Maokai, especially to Enchanter support players, because you know how Enchanter support players are. They just want to like... They just want to like Exist. never do anything. And so like Maokai kind of forces them to be like, all right, you know what? Like I have to go in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's basically it. It's, it was kind of the same with Leona before Dura be the best. Like you just have, like, have to go in, otherwise you're not going to do anything. So we'll make this, we'll make this our, our tentative uh, top five newbie newbies champs. Um, the, the Zyra can obviously, we could swap that in for a Brand or a Zerif if you really want to just try to like off carry. The reason, just so everybody understands why those picks in particular do so well, is because all of those picks function pretty well without like crazy gold. I mean, Zerif, obviously you want to get some kills, but like Zyra and Brand, they function exceptionally well without a ton of gold. And that's normally why they've, um... That's why they've shown up. And I disagree with Nautilus before Maokai. I actually hard disagree. And I want to I want to clarify that. So Nautilus is great, guys, in terms of like hitting hooks and, and providing a lot of utility. But Nautilus doesn't do any of this other shit that I just talked about with Maokai. There's like no vision control at all. Like Maokai's saplings are fucking super annoying in ranked. Like, I don't think y'all realize. Like, if you're spamming those and putting those in bushes off CD. It is actually insane the amount of control that you have over the game. The roots point and click. The only the only tougher thing with Maokai is his ult, but Nautilus will. Nautilus is why we did, we put Blitz in this spot instead of like Nautilus or Leona. Is because we know that like if you play Nautilus or Leona right now, you're just inting into a durability meta. You agree, Ray? I'm not just talking on my ass here. Yeah, uh, Leona definitely fell off a cliff. Uh, I think Nautilus can fare a little bit better, but it's. Kind of the same thing, yeah. I feel like noobs just int with them unless they're unless they hit that critical mass where most of their engages work, right? Yeah. And Maokai doesn't Quite have to sure. engage to be functional. That was the other thing I was gonna say. Maokai doesn't have to engage. Like you could literally just peel for your ADC with W, press Q and back away, and then put your E in bushes if you if you're feeding. Like I just think it's a no-brainer. Um Yumi, uh I want to address the Yumi thing. I don't want to recommend people play Yumi. Um, because we are still talking about retaining some sort of agency in the game. Um sure, she's like you could put your you could put your fucking girlfriend on Yumi who hasn't played this game in her entire life and she'll probably get some value, but that's not really what we're after when I say newbies. I'm saying like people that are trying to learn how to climb for the first time. I'm not talking about champions where you could play them with a fucking foot pedal. Let's go to ADCs. I think if I had to pick like a, a cure-all ADC um, for newbies... Like, I'm saying for newbies, and people know me for spamming Ezreal anytime I go bot lane, and I have a pretty good argument, I think, for why, but that's not really for newbies. I think we were just talking about Ash. I think I'd put Ash right in the front of yeah. the newbie picks, I think. Yeah, yeah. Because, I think Ash is yeah. simple to play, long range, cast potential, yeah. Like, even though on support it's a little bit different because you're, like, re really reliant on it, but you, you can actually, like, do other stuff with Ash because you have some lane pressure, some, some uh, decent damage. And I know we talked about the, the vision stuff, but let's be honest, like even the vision is really nice when you're playing ADC because oh yeah, you can like catch your own jungle, like you catch a jungle gang coming if your support doesn't ward, um, which is nice, I think. Yeah, yeah. Especially um, if you have some kind of an idea of like lane management. Yeah. So you can kind of like use that for, uh, to yourself. Cause like on support, you don't really Unless you ping uh, your ADC, you don't really get to have a say in like lane management too often. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, I'm thinking for easy picks for newbies. Easy picks for newbies. I have uh, one champion that needs to be on the list, but... Okay, let's hear it. 
Seraphine. You want Seraphine on this list? Okay. I yeah, mean the I the win the results the results do speak for itself. I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily think Seraphine right away, but she does have crazy results right now. Like absolutely insane results. So why don't yeah. you explain like what exactly is making her so strong? And I I mean I have some ideas, but I think you can probably articulate it better right now. She has permanent push. Uh, almost impossible to gank because of the you know uh, permanent push, so you don't need to be in lane too often. Uh, you have your W, you have your E, you have your ult. Really, really hard to kill unless you get like engaged on. Uh, team fighting is really good with ult. Simple to play. Just a lot of things that uh, that have going for her. So it's basically like the it's like she's the effective Sona champ for ADC. Yeah, um, I would probably. I was thinking of it more like like an old Seaver. Like if Seaver was really good, oh, then that's oh, kind of okay. like what I'm thinking I, I see. with Seraphine. It's kind find... of like the same archetype, even though the champions are like totally different. Okay. Yeah. I, her her win rate right now is probably alarming enough to put her on the win uh, or put her on the list for the time being, unless she gets some sort of substantial nerf. Which Riot loves yep. this champion. Doesn't seem to really really they don't seem to want to touch her very often. No. Um. Let me see here. I'm looking through lists. I think if I had to put somebody on this list as like an easy ADC that carries, uh, I don't know if you're going to like this pick, Ray, or not, but I have an opinion of a champion that probably needs to go on this list, and I'm just going to put his face on okay. stream, and then you can tell me. And I hate that I'm recommending this pick, to be fair, but I just think that right now is the time. And it's right, the, the worst. Pick. It's the worst face I could have picked off of Google. So there you go. That's really. Yeah, I Which? think I would. I think I would. I think I would. Um, I think I just coached a client on him. I think he does way too much damage right now. Um, I think that in a low elo environment, you could literally just pull the wave back and just gank your own lane, and nobody knows what the fuck Twitch is doing. Um, and That's after, actually a good point. I've never actually, like, I've coached recently a client on Twitch, and I, this isn't even to flame the guy. I honestly think he got really good value on his money. I was not in a great mood that day, and I was just drilling into him on his bad decisions. It must have been one of the most brutal coachings I think I've ever done. And I was just, like, laying into him, telling him that this champion is ELO inflated, and I still feel that way. Um, I think in low elo, you really do, you really can just pull the wave back and gank your own lane, and there's not a lot that enemies are going to do about that. And then um, no one really plays like he exists ever. Every kill is the Q reset. So you could basically just show up, make a play, Q away from the fight, and come back in and do it again and again and again. And it's just this amount of pressure. And again, if we're talking pure results, Twitch is not doing badly right now at all in solo queue he's he's right up there so um i think even idiots are winning with him so it's a pretty good sign that he's broken i mean yeah you are actually making a new point if you just like if you're like a like a um iron the gold uh, twitch player if you just like learn how to use the use the self then they are actually like making a good point because like you said you can gank your own lane what yep. i is also see like high low uh, player uh, twitch players too is after the first pack they go to mid lane maybe get a kill if they don't they just go back bot lane if they do hey free goal for the twitch and the thing about like low elo is that the games last for a, for an eternity uh, the Twitch probably gets like a lot, couple of like kills that he shouldn't and Twitch with uh, kills is like one of the most terrifying things in the entire game. Yep. So you yeah, actually have a good point there. This is, was not what I was thinking. I know. I know. I, I've i definitely... It, it's off the back of coaching that guy and then just I've been thinking about it a lot lately and just thinking about the pick. So <clears throat> other picks. Um, we're thinking about picks that are easy for newbies to play and win with. Um, this is where it gets a little tough because ADC is pretty low agency for the most part. There's not a ton of champions that are particularly uh, self-sufficient. Like I said, I obviously have my, my Ezreal pick that I really enjoy. I think if I had to recommend an easy pick to climb with though, oh God, no, what I are you thinking? I have one champion that I'm thinking, but go ahead. Okay. Uh, misfortune. Okay, I was actually thinking the same thing for real. Yep. I don't love it though. I, I don't yeah, love it. Yeah. Um, 
And I don't know what's better though. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I don't know what's better because if I recommend to play Draven, I feel like that's just not, I mean, I get, I get, I get that he's strong, but like, he's not always going to be strong and he's, a, yeah, he's a mechanical, it's a challenge. Yeah. Like also, it's a very big challenge. About, yeah. Uh, another thing about Draven is that he's like a really, you know, early game champion. And like I said, the games in low elo last for like 10 minutes uh, more than they should be. So the longer the game goes on, goes for the Draven starts to become, become like less useful, uh, except if he's like really, really fed. But yeah, Draven is not something that, something that I would pro probably personally uh, recommend people in Lola to play. Yeah, long. I don't, I don't really love the Draven pick uh, at all, to be honest. I just, I, I, I personally like him. I think he's strong, but I just think giving, giving random players the encouragement to play Draven just seems like you're asking them to int. Yeah. Um, and then the last pick, this one, I think. I think I'm gonna go a little off meta for this last pick because I think I think that we can argue for it. I don't even think Seraphine's I think Seraphine's not even off meta at the moment. I think that's actually just what she does. Um I'm gonna make this yeah, recommendation. Yeah. I think you're gonna know what's coming. Or, or at least suspect what's coming. I have two champions that I, I, I think it might be. I'm just gonna throw him on the screen. Probably Swain. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yep. Dude, you, you have me fucking solved, dude. Like that that fucking pick. This guy. I I swear to you, this he has been in this spot in my like top list even before the fucking rework. Like even before they like changed his I don't I don't want to say rework because that's not what it is. But even since they give him the buff, I guess. The big buff. Yeah. I've had him on here because he's just He's like God mode when he gets a kill. Yeah, and the thing about Numbi is that the, the thing about Swain that, um, or the reason why people in lower or higher wars don't really, I mean, I guess nowadays it's a little bit different, but before the the thing, or before the buff, uh, mm -hmm. the thing about Swain is that it was really easy to kite guy, but nowadays is even that's harder. But if you're talking about like iron, gold, iron, silver, bronze, gold, whatever. Uh, people are not going to be as good at kiting, so Swain gets a lot of value by just walking at people. Especially with the new Rylai stuff, you, like, you get in range of Swain, you can, like, never leave, and you just die. Yeah, I, I have not... I, I feel like Swain is one of those champions that once he gets ahead, he just kind of wins the whole game. He just becomes, like, this... He becomes like his own win con, unlike all the other ADCs on the list, and it feels like he makes the role have agency. I think there's actually other champions that can do this, and there was that Mordekaiser one trick, that Cat Life guy, I think his name was, in the boot camp, and he was doing like Mordekaiser ADC, and I kind of feel that way with Swain, where it's like, you know, the, it kind of shows that there is like a spot in here for these like scaling bruiser champs that just get to a point where they basically press their button and win. Like they press their R button and just like walk at you. Um, yeah, they check, uh, start to check you at some point. Yeah, and I think Swain has it going for him because he synergizes well. Like if he grabs, if he pulls in an enemy champion and then there's a support there, he can kind of act as his own engage as well. So it, he's just really fucking strong and he's always done well on the charts. And I've always been frustrated seeing him when I'm like smurfing. If he gets fed when I'm smurfing, I'm like, I can't stop him. Like, I can't, there's nothing I can do. He's just going to win. And I think the win rate reflects that also because, like, he's always just done well. But I think, yeah, I think we did it, dude. Thank you so much for chiming in, man. We'll uh, we'll make sure to shout you out on the, on the video, dude. Thanks. Oh, thanks. And that concludes the big list. We'll call this, we'll call this the, uh, oh, wait, no. Yeah, I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a, a nice clean Photoshop document. Hold on. There. It's a big list. Champs that don't suck ass. And we'll we'll say bye. Nice. Featuring Race Cat. There. The big list. What do you guys think about the big list? Do you like the big list or no? As a reminder, the big list, the summary. Jungle. Sorry, I'm sick. Nocturne, Kane, Mordekaiser, Wukong, and Volibear. ADC, or I'm sorry, that's support. I lied. Support, Janna, Senna, Blitzcrank, Zyra, and Maokai. 
and then ADC, Ash, Seraphine, Twitch, Misfortune, and Swain. This is the big list, champs that don't suck ass. Oh, 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 sorry, and I gotta change the title before I forget. We're gonna call this Newbie Edition, okay? That's the Newbie Edition. Everybody got it?